A man responsible for helping students get to and from school safely was the victim of gun violence today. District police tell us someone shot a safe passage worker near three D.C. public schools just minutes before students were let out. Coolidge High and two nearby schools were put on lockdown. Now the search is on tonight for the person who pulled the trigger. News Force Walter Morris is in Northwest tonight with new details. I want to feel safer, you know, in the neighborhood. Three D.C. schools placed on lockdown after gunshots ring out Monday afternoon. Police say an off-duty safe passage worker came under fire just feet from Calvin Coolidge High School. I was actually walk about to walk my dog. Gina Ramirez lives nearby and still in disbelief about what went down not too far from her doorstep. D.C. police say there was some sort of altercation around 3 p.m. that ended in gunfire. And when officers arrived on Somerset near 5th Street Northwest, they found the victim. It's really sad. Um, when I heard it, I honestly couldn't believe it. Nearby streets blocked off for hours as detectives reviewed footage from surveillance cameras and collected clues. At the time of dismissal, we did have reason to believe the suspect fled in a vehicle. That shooting minutes before school let out. And at last update, cops not saying much about the shooter. Uh, children should be able to come to school, uh, be safe out there while at school, and uh, leave school safely. So anytime we have gun violence in the city, uh, it's not something we could tolerate, but especially when it's this close to an elementary school, a middle school, and high school. And again, this is an active investigation. If you know anything that can help, call police. In Northwest, Walter Morris, News 4.